Okay, could you start by telling everyone your name, your age, and where you're from? Uh, yeah, my name is Dragos Birla. I'm from Romania and I'm 16 years old. Okay, so you've been with us for just over a week. You're on our two-week program, the second one of this year. What are your general impressions so far of the course and Oxford in general? Um, I really like it. It's, uh, it's definitely a new experience for me. And I gotta say, I really like all the diversity here, all the different cultures I've gotten to know and meet all these different people on, here on campus. And generally on the streets too, just walking. Yeah, so there are kind of over a dozen, I think, nationalities with you on this program. Mm -hmm. Have you found that you've learned things from, from them as well as from your classes? Um, def yeah, definitely. Uh, there's a different, everybody has a different way of learning, but uh, I, I got to learn about, a lot about different cultures and how other people live besides me. Yeah, so can you give me an example of that? Not off the top. No? Okay. <laughs> what about your classes then? So this is kind of why you came here. Mm -hmm. um, what have you been taking for your major, your minor, and your elective? Uh, my major is Introduction to Particular Physics, my minor is Advanced Calculus, and my elective is Sports. Okay, so how have you found the classes? Are they different from your classes that you do at school back home? Um, the Physics one, definitely. I've never taken a Physics class and I don't really know what that's like, but I find it really interesting. It's, we've t uh, taken quite a bit of notes and a lot, we've gotten a lot of information thrown at us, but I really like it. I think it's really interesting. And the math class, the math class is pretty similar. The via uh, talking, if I'm talking about material, then it's pretty similar. Yeah. What about the teaching style? Is that different? Uh, no, it's actually quite similar. Yeah. yeah. The class sizes. Are you taught in quite small groups? No. No. Our classes are usually thirty people, thirty-five people. And the, what about here? Here, my uh, physics class it has four people in it, and my math class has two. And what's that been like? Is it, do you find that you're more challenged in that kind of environment? Um, no, I find it better because now you can kind of get closer to the teacher. Like they, you can explain them more, uh, more specific questions, and they can help you more individually rather than if you were in a class with thirty other kids. Okay, and your elective is sport. Mm -hmm. Have you found that that's quite a good counterpoint to your your more academic stuff? What What made you choose sport? Um, I found I. Uh, thought that we wouldn't have a lot of free time, like to, uh, I wouldn't have t uh, other time to play sports around here if the courses are so intensive and I, would, I thought that it would be a good idea to take sports in a way to like relax and get phys uh, just run and uh, be active for a few hours during the day and so far that's what it's been. Great, and kind of talking about relaxation, we also run the ENTS program and the excursions at the weekends, have you found those to be beneficial? Oh for sure. Yeah. Do you have a favourite? Um, I, re I like the London trip in general. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So what, what were you up to in London? Uh, I went to the Science Museum in the morning and I really liked it there because uh, you, could, you could have a lot of uh, hands-on activities, like interactive activities, so you can see how everything works and it just made you look at things differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in the afternoon did you go to a different museum? I went to the um, Natural History Museum. Yeah. And that, I thought that was interesting too, we just looked at dinosaurs a lot. <laughs> Great. And in the evenings, you're kind of, and on the excursions as well, you're accompanied by the ENTS team, so they're made up of um, undergraduates from Oxford and other, other UK top universities. So have you found that to be um, a good experience to be around people like that? Oh, for sure. They, uh, because I have a lot of qu uh, questions about applying to these kinds of universities and just about what uh, universities like in Europe because I might be thinking of applying here too. Yeah. And you know, it seems it seems kind of different and the application process seems like um, kind of more diff just more different than uh, school in the US and I, uh, they answer all those questions and that helps me a lot. Yeah. Did you come to the applying to UK university yeah. seminar? Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? What what did you learn from that? Uh, I just learned about the general application process and I found out that like uh, it's similar. Uh, it's similar. The general process is pretty similar to the U.S. Like you have to submit your school grades mm -hmm. and all that. But I, uh, I like the, the fact that they have to like call you over for an interview, and that uh, that means that like they're really interested sit in you. Yeah. If they call you over for an interview. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that. So you had the initial talk from a specialist, um, mm -hmm. you know, an educator, and then that was followed by a Q and A with five current undergraduates or recent undergraduates, what was, what was that like? 
Um, it was really good. It was really good. They uh, were really open to all of the questions. I didn't ask, I didn't ask any questions, but the other kids asked some things I've been wondering about, and they, they basically answered my questions too. So do you find that this has given you a taste of university life? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah like just in uh, how they how uh, the students live in the dorms and the the schools they go to and the teaching style. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. What what's it been like living in an Oxford college? It's uh, it's really cool. I like it. Yeah. So you have a roommate as well, who's I think a different nationality. Is he Russian? He's Russian. Roommate? Yeah. So you're learning a lot from one another, presumably. Yeah, definitely. Um, is there something in particular of this course that you will take away and you'll always remember, or something that really stands out as a, a great memory to to hold on to? Yeah, the cultural diversity. Yeah. Of the. Uh, classes first of all, then the people and the, gen the buildings, like the structure of the city. The one thing we don't really see in America is like authenticity yeah. in a way, like everything is just remade and rebuilt so everything looks newer, but here you actually have the original buildings, um, you know, the city just looks more antique in a way, yeah. and that, that just looks really cool. And nice. Nice. It's very old. So you've had, by the sounds of it, quite a well-rounded experience. Oh, Would sure. you recommend the course to a friend? Oh, 100%, yeah. And finally, if you had to describe it in three words, how would you describe it? Um, tiring. <laughs> exciting. In a good way? Tiring in a good way? In a good way. Yeah. Exciting and diverse. All good words. Thank you very much, Jonas. Yeah.